Now that all of that's explained, let's take that back apart, you know. Really quick, really quick. No time lost. The, 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 the reason we did it this way is this eccentric right here. Okay, see, I, I, I can't put this eccentric on here right near, but because I have not decided. Oh, this is some good stuff right here. I had actually not this was going to go this way, but let's go this way. Uh, I have not decided which fuel pump to use on this engine just yet. There is there's two options with this kind of side cover, and uh, um, this this eccentric. This is the eccentric, the cam, and this whatever they call that thing. Hmm. Um. Goes here. Uh, the other one that has the lever that would go on the back back here would have a roller in it. Okay, I'm not going to use that lever, so I am going to use one one of this type up here, so I can go ahead and do this. I put that right there. So if you're building an engine. This part here, that's the point I made out of that whole little waste of time, is, and even even this one right here, I can actually use the, this drive, whatever that is, I'll have to put a pop-up thing in there, but you actually can use the one with the little roller down here, and it'll just sit there and be in the free, so both, but both of them are basically the same, but you can't use this one here with the fuel pump it's got the drive arm because it don't have no drive mechanism wow that wasted some time and uh, this right here the, 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 the drive arm right there put a little bit of just a little oil right there and it's got a nut here and that's a one piece mechanism you will find these where they turned them out around stock it won't have that hex in there you will find that no lock washer goes it's just a uh, uh, just like that right there a lock nut here and that goes in there like that and that goes up like that okay the, and 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 then the big the heavy spring goes first a washer the drive the washer that rides against this part here goes there now the reason that you can't put all of that together just yet is you put this up here like this and pull that out and line all of this up and put it now. Now we can put all of this back together. You can put them any other way, if, but it's surprising that it puts everything in a in a bind. It's not good workmanship to do it the other way. But put that right up there, push that back, and put that cutter in there. Do not neglect to not spread that cutter apart. Just do it. The the part that holds that on there is this right here. Goes right like that. Stove bolt in the bottom with a washer. Stove bolt in the top with a washer. Now I'm going to show you how to oil this. You can see that I didn't pre-oil it. Uh, I'll show you how. But that goes right there like that. Tighten, tighten that up, tighten that up, <clears throat> and uh, it's it's free on there. Okay, the oil the oil galley for that thing is right in the top here, so we can just put a little oil right in there and turn the flywheel, and it it, it will oil that. That's the way that works. When it comes up yonder, it moves this. Well, let's put this spring on here. Uh, it gets a it gets a washer and a spring and this nut right here one of them special kind of things well, let's just put us a little bit of a little bit of oil right there and this would go right in here like that and that's all they are to this drive mechanism quite simple and there is enough adjustments on this thing right here. You, you'll find them where there'll be a whole stack of washers in there. But but there is enough washers on this system to where if you adjust everything correct, you 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 will not have to put all them washers in there. 
Uh, maybe it would be a case of a weak spring or something where you would do it. But And at some point in time, when you get when we adjust this, we we'll, we will adjust this later. We're just assembling it up here now. But when you do get it all adjusted, you would adjust it to where that that cotter hole in the front right here is straight up and down, so that you can put the cotter right like that right there. That's just good workmanship. But that's the way that works. And then when the engine turns, I'm turning it backwards. But when it uh, when it turns, that's the way that works, and it makes this part right here go up and down and that's what trips your EK and uh, and you see when that moves it repositions that retards the spark retard and advance that's what that is and the way this is made down here it's kind of at a at an angle on both sides so it can rock but that's that's assembled the uh let's this part right here we ain't got that on there yet and this right here a little little gasola right there that brown permatex works really good too you want that to be a good leak free fitting this is the greaser and I done already tightened that up over there in the vise and this this is the greaser that greases the cam shaft the part between the gear and the and the thread is right in the back of it yonder as opposed to the igniter model where the thread is right straight down in the top the um, and most of the time you'll find these greasers here are some kind of size between <coughs> this and that so a good crescent wrench works here and tighten that up Really good. You don't want no leaks. Okay. Felt good. And it does have the IHC logo on here. We do the two greasers up here uh, has the logo also. The um, so let's uh, let's get that. And good thing I happened to see that right up in there. That uh, that gas that that gasket sealer. I seen it up in there. So you know the thing to do is to get it away from there. Clean it up as you go. Okay, good to go.